It was a violent Thursday night in Minneapolis where nine people were shot within five hours of each other. Two of the victims died. Two of the shootings happened on the north side and the last happened outside of a bar on Washington Avenue. John Larson shows us how community leaders are making a stand against the violence. A shot spotter and 911 calls alerted police to the first shooting that happened just after 8 o'clock Thursday night. Officers found a 16-year-old boy with gunshot wounds lying in a parking lot near Knox and Plymouth Avenues. The teenager was rushed to the hospital where he died from his injuries. This is a tragic loss of a 16-year-old young man. Less than an hour later, three men and one woman were shot on Broadway Avenue near Winter Gas. One of the victims was Trelisa McCray's 24-year-old son. She got worried when he didn't answer his phone. I fell to my knees. By the grace of God, my son is still alive. But he's not a bad kid. He's not. He's not. This gun violence has to stop. 10 minutes, we're going to Merwin's. The shooting prompted a crowd to gather at two businesses on Friday morning. Activists first blocked off winter gas here at Lindale Avenue and Broadway, and then a short time later they walked across the street to block off Merwin Liquors. They say both businesses haven't done enough to help stop gun violence. Activists demanded that they either add more security or close their doors for good. While we're always talking about what the police do, there are things we got to do. We have to come together. It's not about race. It's not about class. It's about everybody knowing their place and helping. A third shooting happened just after 1 o'clock Friday morning at Bullwinkles on Washington Avenue. A fight at a private party led to four people shot, including a man in his 30s who later died. Another man was hospitalized with life-threatening injuries. We need to take a stand. It is time to take back our communities once and for all. And it can't be done by 5, 10, or 15 people. Everybody's got to come out. In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The owner of Winter Gas told John he has no plans to shut down the business at this point, but agrees that area has become a location for violence. Police are urging anyone with information about these shootings to call Crime Stoppers where they can remain anonymous. A Minneapolis church is hoping to buy what has been a source of illegal activity in the city for years. It's waiting for the sale to go through on Merwin's Liquors at the corner of West Broadway in North Lindale. The parking lot is a hub for drugs and violence. As Red Chapman reports, the city of Minneapolis is helping with a loan to purchase the troubled property. This has probably been the, the most dangerous that corner has been in, in about, you know, probably two decades. The parking lot of Merwin's Liquors also serve as an open air drug market, as well as ground zero for many deadly encounters. But that all could change if one local organization has its way. Love Minneapolis wants to buy the building and property many say contribute heavily to crime in the area. They already own the adjoining building. So there's two properties that kind of connect to each other. Um, and they also own some property along West Broadway and their idea is to redevelop that site into something that's more conforming to the city's comprehensive plan. Minneapolis Director of Economic Policy and Development Eric Hansen says the city offered up $700,000 to Love Minneapolis to purchase the property. Love Minneapolis is a development company that is a branch of Sanctuary Covenant Church. Love Minneapolis has not said what it plans to do with the site. They say they will not comment until the sale of Merwin's liquor is finalized. Part of the loan agreement includes a plan to get rid of parking lots and move buildings closer to the street. Taking away that kind of safe harbor for people to just hang out on the street um, and corner all, all, you know, all day long. And then it's, you know, leading to some negative behaviors, drug dealing, prostitution, violence. Hansen says community and city leaders are focused on the root cause of all the violence, but know they must first focus on public safety. So that's main part is how do we get in like interventions, immediate interventions um, to disrupt the violent behavior that's happening on that corner. In North Minneapolis, Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. Hanson says community organizations are working with the city to provide ambassadors to get resources to people dealing with chemical dependency, job and housing issues. Once the sale of Merwin's liquor goes through, Love Minneapolis will have five years to get development underway and seven years to complete it.